Well, it's uh, Friday, round about one o'clock. That's me finished for the weekend. Um, it's the seventh, I believe. And uh, I've got a request from uh, a subscriber, she's called Nancy, and she lives in Canada. But she used to live in Concert. And I think she said, well, many years ago, I think she said almost something like 50 years ago or something. Anyway, she asked us if I would have a run out for her. And I said, yes, so I'm doing it now. Um, this is not going to be the recording of the journey. The journey is going to be recorded on uh, on my dash cam, which is just there. So there will be some of this, but I'm going to put that journey, that particular journey, on for Nancy anyway. Uh, so there'll be some of it on here, but all of it on there. But obviously on there there's no audio. Just she wanted to see how it looked. And uh big Q for the chip shop there. Juggers place chip shop, it's not my favourite. I didn't even like the sound of it, Juggers. Anyway, this is the uh, car park at the back of the shops in concert. And um, Nancy wanted to see part of Templetown. Uh, and Nancy, I'm not sure how long it is since you've actually been to concert. Maybe you've been back visiting, I don't know. But obviously, there'll be a hell of a difference because there's a housing estate. Which I'm going to just drive through the main drag of Templetown housing estate uh, to show you what it looks like now. So that's Aldi over there. And we'll go down the side of Aldi to get into Temple Town. And uh, we're at the back of the shops there. Uh, this is Matalan. And then under the bridge of the new fly over. And then, uh, then we enter Temple Town. And there's a sign there for Temple Town. The old road is like well, it's uh, them speed bumps anyway. This is called Eggleston Drive. It's like the main drag through Temple Town. You come in here and. Turn right here and just work your way through. And there's like lots of little streets going off this. So um anybody that is from concert and has been away for many years, it gives you a little idea of how it's changed. That's Rommel Kirk Close. Got a friend who lives in there. Uh, as I say, there's just there's uh, streets running off this. It's a big mass of a state temple town. That's Holwood Close coming up on the left, and then we've got Collison Close on the right. Then you can turn left here. And go down to the first part of the Temple Town Estate, uh, which I'm not going to. I'm actually going to go. I'm turning right here, and I'm presuming when I get up to this roundabout here, um, I'm going to go left, and I'm presuming this is where Nancy wanted us to go down by Nitsley, which will take you down and bring you back up Delfian. 
this is what you call Nitsli Lane. Um, I'm hoping this is what you wanted, like Nancy, but uh, if not, you can tell us in the description and we can have another run out somewhere. But uh, your ideas of Templetown to my ideas of Templetown will be completely different because at the end of the day, you haven't been here for years, I haven't lived here for years. That guy in the land road, I just wanted the whole road to be sell. Um, so, but as I say, the whole thing's been recorded on the uh, on the dash cam anyway, which I'll put at the end of this video. Just turned off Nitsley Lane. down the bottom of here and here's the rain to spoil everything so uh, well right well this is not where we want to be we need to turn around and take the next left what we missed just past the re not that I mean one a little country lane I didn't have this camera on, but it'll be captured on the uh, dash cam. You've seen the way he approached us. Uh, pretty ridiculous, like, he has a Land Rover and all these. Uh, oh, she's taking it easy, there's another one doing there. This is a... See what you put me through, Nancy? Huh? Nearly crashed my vehicle there. So, uh, anyway, as I said, the rain spoils it all. The rain always spoils it all, all the time. All the time it spoils it. This is a windy old track. This is um, a very popular little spot down here for bar meals and that. It there it's a little pub called the old mill and there's people there eating meals outside in that tent it's got a pond and everything and a little bridge and stuff you can walk over so anyway we're going to turn left here water mill park four and six bedroom luxury detached houses from a hundred and fifty thousand it says on that sign there so there you go right we'll turn left here just coming into Nitsley which is uh, at the bottom of Delves Lane footpath along there to the right and up here obviously this is famous for uh, for making caravans you get uh, the factory along here what makes all the popular caravans this is it here do motorhomes and caravans, Eldis, presume we've all heard of Eldis, and this is the bottom of uh, Delves Lane, Nancy, as you probably recognise. It's something you won't recognise, I'll show you in a minute when we get there. coming into Delves Lane now, from the bottom. Right, there's a lot of works going on here. Uh, gas, new gas mains gone doing Delves Lane. This has been going on a while now, like, going on quite a while. This is also another new part of uh, 
Temple Town called Redmere Drive, well to like an extension. In there's about seven or eight streets as well. And uh, over here on the right, Nancy, we've got the Diamond Pub, you'll probably remember that, being from concert. And you've got Elders Transport on the left, I presume that's been there for years. But what used to be the club is now a nursing home. It's not complete yet. Um, but there it is. It's called Arlington Care Group. Hampton Manor. There's nobody in it yet. It's not complete yet. So, um, yeah. And what used to be waste ground for a lot of years is now little. There's Littles over there. And uh, now we've got a B&M store here. When I first came to the concert, that was Tesco. And Tesco sold that to B&M. And Tesco built a new one, which is, if you watch my videos, I go there nearly every night. So um, there you are, there's your Delves Lane journey in your Temple Town. I hope that was good enough for you, Nancy. It's changed a lot and it's constantly changing. Concert. There's a concert football club. They were just in Wembley with uh, Heaven in the final of some cup, not sure what it was, but concert got beat 2 0 as far as I know. I know they got beat, but I didn't watch it because I'm not a football fan, but uh, I believe they got they got beat 2 0 anyway. And we're just coming up to the bypass where we're going to turn left, and uh, that will take we around by. Matalan, Tesco, Morrison's, McDonald's, Burger King, eh, uh, Burger King, KFC. I wish I did have a Burger King. Big shout out for Burger King. Because McDonald's is crap compared with Burger King. But, uh, anyway, this is the bypass. Right, I'm on the A68, heading for Hexham, pop into Greg's for dinner, be rude not to when you're up at Hexham. So the weather's changed again, look at it now, when I was making the bit video for Nancy it was chucking a doom of rain and now it's sunshine, which is typical. I don't mind, it's the way it is. Just have to see what it's like when we get up there. Just approaching the A69 for Hexham. <coughs> Traffic's kind of back to normal now, like. This is how you'd expect the A69 to be. Look at all the cars gone past and the trucks and what have you. It's waiting for your chance to get out now. Now we go. And I was just here last week, like we'll see how the uh, how the bridge is coming on, if they've done anything else, I don't think they will have done yet, like, but we'll see. Weather's better here than where it is back at home anyway, so far. But it is forecast for rain up this way as well. Spoke too soon. Here 
comes a rear. So there it is, Greg's of Hexham. Been there quite a few times over the last year or so. All the way to Greg's, all the way to Hexham for a pasty. Nice run out though. There's an ambulance as well. NHS working in partnership. So yeah, and there's the factory over there, what produces all the uh, kitchen units and stuff like that you can always tell that because that steam comes out of there 24 7 seven days a week I would even say the work Christmas day in there right well I've been to Greg's enjoying it this is Stifad roundabout to turn off for concert in Darlington what have you so leaving the A69 now and going on to A68 and I could see in the distance we're driving back into rain so uh, round the roundabout Newcastle straight on. This is it. It's just a matter of uh, watching for a car come to watch you so I'm wet or oh, still got the wipers on and you know you're gonna head straight into it. Really looks like it in the distance. Now it's chucking it down. We'll see in a couple of minutes. Yeah, we'll go a couple of miles down the road and it's starting to rain. Well, we're driving into it. That's what's happening. satellite to make sure they've uh, grown up when they said they would eye in the sky and all that sort of thing now the rain's coming down very heavy as I say you could see it in the distance you could see it was over here people's got the lights on now I think there'll be much more this video. Can't even hardly 
see out the window. Right, well, not far away now. Actually, be glad to get back. Uh, this weather, absolutely useless. Coming up to um, Allen's Fad Caravan Park. People knocking about like, but uh, there's one worries dog. He could be so wet him, but it seems to eased off here. It seems to have came out the other side of it. Let's see if these traffic lights is on red or green. Green for go. Look, just missed it. Was green for go. Oh, it just went back to green again. Right, I'm going to make this the final. As I say, I'm nearly home now, so... Um, hope you enjoyed it. And... Uh, just remember... For Nancy, the uh, the video from the dash cam will be at the end of this, without audio, of course. So watch it if you want to watch it. If you didn't, just basically uh, end the video now. So uh, see you in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.